how to make an opening scene with those black bars in Camtasia 2021. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino from Esatino Media and I show you how to create profitable content. So you know when you watch movies sometimes and the screen's all black and then all of a sudden it's like this opening scene where these black bars split apart and then they show the opening scene and then there's a black bar on the top and the bottom. Well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. So I've had this question before randomly in the comments where someone was asking how to do those cinematic black bars. There's many different ways to do this and this is just more of the advanced way to do it because I'm adding animation. But literally, if you just want these two black bars, all you can do is, here, I'll grab this right here, paste it. If you just want the black bars to already be on scene and you don't want to start off with this opening scene thing, literally, the easiest way is just by going, clicking on the media, then going to the crop tool and literally cropping a portion at the top, however thick you want to do it and then a portion at the bottom, center it, and then boom, there you go, there's the black bars. That's the most simplest way to do it. You can also go into, where is it? I have it in my favorites. You guys know I like to use my favorites, but if you don't have favorites, you can go into annotations, go into shapes, Grab the black shape and then manually paste it on, manually stretch it out and do this. I remember in the very beginning I was doing this when I initially wanted the black bars at the bottom and the top and then you just like place it here. But I found that cropping is way simpler and easier so I mainly just do that now. But if you want to do this opening scene one, then you do need to actually have the the physical shape here, this, this shape here, and I'll be breaking it all down. So let me delete this, and let me show you the advanced version of creating a black bars opening scene. So first thing you wanna do is obviously you wanna have media. And in this case, I chose this epic, cool drone footage of some water waves. And, as an added bonus, I added some waves sound, because if I didn't have this waves sound, it would just be like this. Silent, right? And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool waves and all. But, when you have the sound with it, you can actually feel like you're at the beach. So I'm gonna press play. All right, you can actually like experience it now, right? That's why, you know, over the last, I would say just over a year, I've really been paying attention to the sound and the audio, the sound effects, they really do make a difference for the viewer. And if you don't know where I get my sound effects, it's from artlist.io. I have a link down in the description. You can get an extra two months free when you sign up with them. So now let's do the actual black bars part. So I'm actually going to copy this and I'm going to redo it. So I'm going to click paste. I like to put this at the bottom and I like to stack it up here. If I had music, like a full song, that would go on track one, and then I would put media this media video, stock video, on track two, and then build from there. This audio right here isn't an actual song, it's just a sound effect, so I'm okay with having it up here in the higher track levels. So now that we've got our media, 
we need to grab the shape. So whatever you want it to start off as, so black or white, whatever, typically people do the black color. And I'm going to stretch it out to the length of the clip. And I'm going to stretch this out so that it is the length of the video. And then I'll put it here at the top. And I'm going to stretch it until I get to halfway there. It's about halfway right there. And then I am just going to duplicate this. So I'm going to click on the shape, control C, control V, got another one, going to drag it down and I'm going to fill the other half. Okay. So now we have the screen completely black. Now what we want to do is we want to add animation to remove and reveal each of the halves creating the scene, showing the scene. So now what I want to do is I'm going to click on one of the shapes and I'm going to go to behaviors and I'm going to go to animations. So if you don't see your animations in the tab here, click on the more button and then it might be in here. So I'm going to click on the animations tab and then go to custom. From here, I'm going to drag this down onto the first shape and I'm going to put it right from the beginning. And then from here, I want to create the movement. So I'm going to drag this down here until I get to the, the thickness that I want. So let's say about here, and then I'm going to click out of it. And I'm going to drag this over. Not fully all the way, just about here. I mean, you can drag it fully all the way if you want. And then we're going to go to the other shape, click on that. Still, I'm in animations, animations, custom, drag it down. And we're going to do the same thing with the top. We're going to drag it up. Let's say about here, drag it over and you can play around with the thickness, right? So now we're going to play it without the sound so far. And then you'll see it's a, it's a little bit slow as I'm recording, but you guys get the gist of it. And now it does the opening scene of the black bars. Now, if I add the music, the sound effect, the soundscape, you can see you can get a much more better feel for it. So there you go. There is your opening scene with the black bars cinematic effect. If you like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour 70 lecture Camtasia course that you guys can get access to down in the description below. If you wanna fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend you take the course. Give me a thumbs up if you thought this was cool and you appreciated me taking the time to make this video and I'll see you in the next one.